Have you ever wondered how the American economy evolved after World War II? Let's kick off with the Golden Age spanning from 1945 to 1973. This period was marked by a rapid economic expansion. The gross domestic product, or GDP, almost quadrupled. A consumer boom was ignited by pent-up demand, wartime savings and the GI Bill, which led to a surge in purchases of cars, appliances and homes. America also flexed its manufacturing muscle during this era, accounting for a whopping 35% of global industrial output. And let's not forget the rise of the middle class. Wages grew steadily, leading to a broader distribution of wealth and the birth of the iconic American dream lifestyle. This was indeed a golden age, a time of prosperity and growth. But remember, all that glitters is not always gold. The golden age was followed by a period of economic challenges and cracks. The 70s were marked by two significant oil shocks in 1973 and 1979. These crises triggered rampant inflation and stagflation, putting a dent in the economic growth that America had been enjoying. At the same time, the Vietnam War was draining America's resources. The prolonged conflict weighed heavily on the national budget, contributing to rising deficits, but the challenges didn't stop there. The global stage was changing. Japan and West Germany emerged as strong economic rivals, challenging the American economic dominance that had been unshaken for decades. And then the manufacturing sector, once the backbone of the American economy, started to show signs of strain. Jobs began shifting overseas, impacting the livelihood of blue-collar workers across the nation. The 70s brought with it a series of challenges that started to shake the American economic dominance. Ah, the 80s and 90s brought about an uneven recovery and a growing inequality. President Reagan's economic policies, known as Reaganomics, were the driving force behind this era. His approach favoured tax cuts and deregulation, a combination that sparked economic growth. However, this growth didn't benefit everyone equally. The wealth gap between the rich and poor expanded, creating a chasm that continues to widen today. In the late 90s, we saw the rise and fall of the dot-com bubble. This tech boom led to a brief period of exhilarating growth, but it was followed by a devastating crash in 2000. This roller coaster ride left many investors empty-handed and shook the economy. Meanwhile, a significant portion of the workforce, particularly those without a college education, saw their wages stagnate. As the stock market soared, their financial reality remained grounded. While some prospered, others felt the pinch of economic policies and market crashes. The new millennium brought with it a new set of challenges, leading to the Great Recession and beyond. The year 2008 marked a significant turning point with the financial crisis plunging the economy into a deep recession. This economic upheaval caused massive job losses and triggered a housing market crash that sent shockwaves around the globe. The recovery from this recession has been a slow and arduous journey. Despite efforts to stimulate growth, income inequality has continued to rise, casting a long shadow over the economic landscape. In the midst of all this, a new economic rival emerged on the world stage. China's rapid economic growth has further eroded American manufacturing dominance, adding another layer of complexity to the economic narrative of the United States. As we forge ahead, Understanding the past economic roller coaster is crucial in navigating the future. Let's consider some key figures to remember. The unemployment rate, a barometer of economic health, has seen its ups and downs. It hit a low of 2.5% in the prosperous year of 1953 and soared to 9.5% during the economic downturn in 1983. Today, it hovers around 3.5%. Now, Let's talk about the elephant in the room, national debt. It's ballooned from a modest $260 billion in 1946 to a staggering $30 trillion today, mirroring the rise in government spending and deficits. And finally, income inequality. The Gini coefficient, a key indicator of this, has crept up from 0.38 in 1947 to 0.41 in 2019, signifying a growing chasm between the rich and the poor. These figures paint a vivid picture of the American economic journey since World War II. 
In conclusion, the American economy after World War II is a story of both triumph and struggle. From the Golden Age's prosperity to the challenges of global competition and oil crises, from the uneven recovery marked by Reaganomics and the tech boom, to the Great Recession and the rise of China, it's a tale of resilience, innovation, but also of inequality and vulnerability. As we look to the future, understanding our economic history will help us navigate the challenges and opportunities that